What's up fam? How are you all? Hope everyone is doing great. So in this particular video, I'm gonna share complete details about Osmania University. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna share my review whether to consider this university as the top government university or not. So please stick to the video until the end. So please comment your opinion about this particular university in the comment section. So without any further ado, let's get started. So Osmania University was established on 1917, so which is above 100 years old and the campus area of Osmania University is around 1600 acres and Osmania University type is public university and it was located at Hyderabad, Telangana, India. So if you see the connectivity to the university, so the nearest bus station is MGBS bus station which is around 8.4 kilometers and the nearest railway station is Sikindrabad railway station which is around 4 kilometers and nearest airports are Begumpet airport which is around 9.2 kilometers and Rajiv Gandhi International Airport which is around 36 kilometers. And if you see the accreditations and rankings for this university, so this university is approved by UGC and all courses offered in this particular university was approved by AICTE and this university was accredited by NAC with A plus grade accreditation and if you see the NIRF ranking 2023, so this university secured a 64th rank in overall category and 36th rank in university category. And if you see the facilities of this university, so first facility is library, so this library also has established on 1918 and the building area of this library is 67k square feet so if you see the library collection so we have total 5 lakh 83000 books and 75500 volumes of journals and 14000 theses and 83 ebooks so this is the huge collection from this library and if you look at the hostel and mess facilities so this hostels and mess also established on 1918 and uh, there is a separate hostel for boys and as well as girls so the total number of hostels are 22 hostels and total number of messes are 50 messes and as per the student reviews from Quora so the hostels and messes are quite decent if you compare with the other government universities so you can easily manage with the hostels as well as mess and if you look at the other amenities so there is a guest house and we have Tagur auditorium and we have various seminar halls and we also have healthcare center with various services like general OP gynecology ophthalmology orthopedic cardiology dental pharmacy so this is like a small hospital and also we have bank facility so in this university we have state bank of India and also we have post office. So these are the various other amenities which are available in Osmania University. And if you look at the sports facilities, we have indoor stadium, basketball court, swimming pool, tennis court, cricket grounds, football field, hockey field, gymnasium, cycle, volleyball courts, athletic tracks. So we have bunch of courts available for the various type of sports. And if you look at the research facilities, we have various centers like Center for Plant Molecular Biology, Research and Training Unit in Navigational Electronics, Entrepreneurship Development, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Research Center, Educational Multimedia Research Center, Sanskrit Academy, Center for Women's Studies, Center for Solid Waste Technology and Management. So we have various type of research centers available here. So the students who are really interested in research, you can find better opportunities here. And also we have Entrepreneurship Development Cell. So this Entrepreneurship Development Cell was introduced by College of Engineering. So the main advantage of this cell is, so there will be interaction between students and field experts in various industries, banks, government agencies, small industry organizations, first generation entrepreneurs, and financial agencies so they will be interacted by conducting various seminars so this was so helpful for the students who want to really become an entrepreneur and the students who are interested in business and uh, if you look at the university linkages so this university was linked with various state universities like dr b r ambedkar open university jnt university hyderabad kakatiya university mahatma gandhi university nalsar university of law and also it was uh, linked with various dvd universities like geetham university hyderabad triple it hyderabad nit varangal and also central universities like maulana azad National Urdu University, University of Hyderabad. So it was collaborated with various state universities as well as central government universities also. So if you look at the international linkages from 64 countries, 1,088 students coming here for their graduation. So which is really good. So students who are really pursuing their graduation in Osmania University, they can feel so much diversity in that university. So students from various countries like Afghanistan, Australia, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Brazil, Canada, China, Denmark, Egypt, Indonesia, Jordan. So students from various countries coming here for their graduation so which is really a good thing and in this university we also have technology business incubator so basically there are four programs which are offered by this incubator first one is pre-incubation second one is incubation third one is acceleration and fourth one is co-working and uh, it also offers various services like intellectual property rights sale company registration branding and digital marketing and quality certifications so students who are really wanted to start their startups here you can find 
very good opportunities so if you look at the university alumni so this university is 100 plus years old so which means it has a very strong alumni network so this university has alumni from various domains like academicians administrators scientists scholars entrepreneurs and technocrats so most of them are contributing for social and economic growth development for the nation as well as for the world and if you look at the campus colleges under Usmania University we have some colleges so here are the colleges names so first one is University College of Arts and Social Science University College of Science University College of Law University College of Commerce and Business Management University College of Education University College of Engineering University College of Technology and University College of Physical Education and now we will look at each college and what are the courses offered in that college what is the fee structure and what is the admission criteria for that college so let's begin with College of Arts and Social Science so in College of Arts and Social Science we have various MA programs as you can see on the screen we have MA Arabic MA Economics MA English MA French MA Hindi MA Canada MA Linguistics so we have various type of of MA courses which are available in this university. So if you look at the admission criteria for MA program, you have to write OUSET which means Osmania University Common Entrance Test which is the university's own entrance exam. So based on your merit, you will get admission in this college. So the fee structure for these particular programs are for MA general category, one year tuition fee is like 1270 and we have various fee structure for the rest of the programs as you can see on the screen. And next one is University College of Science. So under University College of Science, we have various MSU programs and various PhD programs also so you can see the department so each department offering various type of courses like uh, applied geochemistry astronomy biochemistry botany uh, chemistry genetics geology geography we have various courses so you can see on the screen what are the courses offered by College of Science and if you look at the fee structure for College of Science courses so for the regular seats one year tuition fee is 2260 rupees and uh, for regular seats the fee structure will be same for each and every program so students who want to join MSc programs in Osmania University they have to appear OU set and uh, next we have College of Law in College of Law we have LLB BA LLB postgraduate diploma in cyber laws postgraduate diploma in taxation and insurance laws and research program so the admission criteria for law programs are so for LLB you have to appear for law set and for LLM you have to appear for PGL set so the fee structure for law programs in Osmania University are so for LLB three year regular program one year tuition fee is 12,270 and for LLB five year regular course one year tuition fee is 12,270 rupees and for LLM regular course one year tuition fee is 18,000 rupees so next we have College of Commerce and Business Management so in this college we have Master of Commerce Master of Business Management day shift evening shift Master of Business Management and Technology Management day shift evening shift and next we have College of Education so in College of Education we have Bachelor of Education Master of Education and PhD program and next we have College of Technology so in College of Technology there are three UG programs Programs. So first one is chemical engineering, second one is food technology and third one is textile technology. So for this program one year tuition fee will be 10,000 rupees and the admission criteria for these programs are based on MZ you will get admission in this particular courses. And next we have master of technology. In master of technology we have programs under chemical engineering, food technology, textile technology, m -C. So we have various courses offered under these departments and the admission criteria for these PG programs are you can get admission through gate exam or you can get admission through TSPG set exam and next we have College of Engineering in College of Engineering we have various UG programs like Civil Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Computer Science Engineering, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning and Mining Engineering. So for these programs one year tuition fee will be 35,000 rupees and for Mining Engineering one year tuition fee will be 1 lakh rupees and in PG programs various departments offering various specializations so here are the departments is Civil Engineering, Computer Science engineering electronics and communication engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering so the fee structure for mtech regular programs will be so for some courses one year tuition fee will be 15,000 and some other courses one year tuition fee will be 25,000 and we also have MCA program and the student intake for this program is 60 students so the admission criteria for BE BTech programs you will get admission through TSM set merit list and the admission criteria for ME MTech programs you can get admission through gate exam or TSPG set merit list so if you look at the TSM 2022 final phase cutoffs so the MZ code for Osmania University is OUCE and uh, for biomedical engineering OC boys cutoff is 26,000 and for civil engineering 13,000 and for CSE 2,100 and for ECE 3,000 and for mechanical 15,400 and uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning 5,700 mining is 61,400 and food technology 67,600 and if you look at the university placements so there are tons of companies
companies which will visit this Osmania University for recruiting students. And uh, if you look at the median packages of this university, so the median package for UG three year program will be four lakh twenty five thousand, and the median package for UG four year program will be six lakhs per annum, and the median package for UG five year program will be six lakhs per annum, and median package for PG two year program will be six lakhs per annum, and median package for PG three year program will be five lakhs per annum. So this is the complete information about Osmania University. I hope you found this video informative. And if you have any doubts regarding Osman Yaw University, please comment in the comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. And as I told you at the beginning of this video, I will share my review at the end. And here is my review. And this university is very old university, one of the old university in India. And this university has very good approvals and also have very good rankings as well. So this university has tons of tons of facilities. This university have very good hostels, very good mess. And this university have various sports facilities. And this university has very good labs as well. And this university has business incubator also which is really really good and uh, if you look at the campus life this university has very good exposure because it is situated at the center of hyderabad so you can explore the city as much as you can and this university has also very good diversity so students from 64 countries come here for the graduation so you can interact with various students from various countries so this university has very good diversity and if you look at the university connections this university has the one of the best connections in telangana so it have connections with state universities as well as central universities as well as private universities and this university also have various linkages from international universities also and if you look at the faculty so the faculty at Osmania University are well experienced faculty and they will support you at any time so what you have to do is you have to ask as many questions as you can so that they can answer your questions and if you look at the ROI for this university this university has one of the best ROI so you are paying around 35,000 rupees per year but you are getting the median package of 6 lakh rupees and if you look at the top private universities or top private colleges which they have very highest package but the median package is really low but if we look at this university this university has very good median package of 6 lakhs per annum so many of the students will confuse between choosing J N T Hyderabad and Osmania University so personally I prefer Osmania University is the best after that you can consider J N T Hyderabad so that's all guys uh, this is my review I hope you found this video interesting and informative if you found this video interesting and informative please give it a like and if this video is helpful for your friends and relatives please share to them as well as please comment your thoughts on this particular video in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and click on the bell for notifications. So this is your Joshua Kamlakar signing off.